Okay guys, we'll tell you a wee shrimp fly pattern. Now, the hook in the face is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double in black nickel. And the fly that I'm going to tie is called the uh, Millennium Shrimp. Now, this is a Albert Atkinson shrimp fly. It's a Northern Irish pattern. Very unusual colour combination, but it's worth while having in your box. Um, coming in the, when the grills are starting to run. Now, the thread that I'm going to use is a unique thread 801 white. And that's just to keep the rear and front body nice and bright. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Run on a few mil of thread and remove the waist tag. Now the ribbon of the tag and the ribbon on the fly is going to be a oval gold tinsel in 15. This is a Vanyard product. If you're using uni, it would be a medium gold tinsel. So I'm just going to take this, some of this off the off the spool. I just like to tie in my oval gold tinsel underneath the shank. Then bring the oval gold in underneath the shank of the hook. And just take your thread turns down. Tying in your oval gold tinsel. And I'm just bringing my thread down till I'm in line with the point. Then I'm just going to come around with four turns of the oval gold to create my tag. And on my fifth turn bring it up and in between the the two hooks that locks in your tag and then I'm just going to come in and trim away the excess of the oval gold tinsel. Now the tail on the fly is a rump feather and this is a golden pheasant rump feather that's been dyed yellow. And that's what you need. You need a yellow rump feather. Just take if you just have the natural golden pheasant skin you can just use the uh, yellow rump feather so it's just been dyed yellow so I'm just taking away the rubbish at the bottom I'm just going to stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip then we'll just offer this up to the hook just come round with a couple of turns to hold I'm going to fold back the tip bring my thread back up over the tip and the hangle now, I'm just going to get my thread out of the way just to give me room to work now I'm going to come in and trim away the tip of the haggle I'm just going to come in with my fingers and just gently stroke back the the fibres on the rump feather right. 9 times out of 10 when you're winding these around the hook I have a tendency to get caught up but don't be worrying about that just concentrate on getting the the feather onto the hook. Now just use the whole wee rump feather up. Then I'm just going to come round, catch in the, the stem. I'm just going to run this up, tying this in, just up the first part of the body, the rear. Then I'm going to come in with my scissors and just trim away the, the excess. Now I'm just going to come in with an old toothbrush here and just brush out the any of the fibres that you have caught. Just while you've been winding it round. Okay, now on the way back down, I'm going to just catch in another length of our oval gold tinsel for a rib. Same again, I'm just catching it underneath. Bring it in underneath the hook. And then just working the thread down. Tied up against the the rump feather. Now the body is just a glow bright gold dubbing. So I'm just going to take a wee pinch of this and just dub it on. It's easy dub the glow bright. Good stuff. And then we'll just wind it up the first part of the first part of the body. Nice and tight. I think it's going forward to sweep it back. Then you can bring up your rib. And three turns on the body of the oval gold is plenty. Up to there. Follow it around with your thread. A couple of turns to secure. Come in. Trim away the excess. Now, 
want to bring out some of the some of the gold. So I'm just going to come in here just to bring out some of the dubbing, not too much. I'm looking to bring some of it out into the wee pattern. Now the mid haggle is just a Chinese uh, yellow cock haggle. Now this is a fluorescent yellow. So I'm just going to get a feather, stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. After this up to the hook, a couple of turns to secure, fold back the tip, and you can come in and locate the tip, bring it away, and I just come in with my scissors and just stroke back the, the fibres to get me started. And then at this stage, just wind your, your haggle around now. The turns of haggle are up to you. It's the way you like to dress your salmon flies. A couple of wee fibers are getting away from me. Just try and get those back. Right, just want to have a wee check. Have a look. I'm going to stick another one in. A wee bit light for me there. Right. That's plenty. So just follow it around with your thread. A couple of nice tight turns. Now what I like to do here at times is just to strip the excess hack off. Right. Just want to get those ones back and then run my thread up. Tying it in. Just feel it makes it for a stronger fly if you do that. Any favours that's going forward, what you have to do is just come in, fold them back, bring your thread back down, tan everything in. Just going to bring it back up just to get it into position for the front body. Now, just going to get another length of our oval gold tinsel. Straighten this bit up. Just tie it in underneath again. Catch it in, bring it in underneath the shank of the hook. Just get all the fibres to sit back, then bring your thread down, tight up against the, the mid haggle. Same again, front body, the gold light bright. Stub it on. Don't need too much of that stuff, it's so easily dubbed. Then we'll bring this up the second part of the body. Then we'll bring up her gold tinsel. So we can get three turns onto the body. There's plenty up there. Follow it around with your thread. A couple of tight turns to secure. Come in, remove the excess. Now, I'm not going to bring any of the, the front dubbing out. Now, I want the head to be red. So what I want to do is I'm going to switch over to the uni thread. 8 and red. It's quite simple, just come in and tie over the white thread. Then you come in and keep a hold of your excess red thread and the white tying thread. Just trim them away. Now the front haggle is just going to be, I'm going to use a hen haggle. Just a light blue hen haggle. Eh, not too many feathers left on this cape, but that's the cape there. So... I'm just going to come in, stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Offer it up to the hook, round with a couple of turns to secure in the tip. I'm going to fold the tip back and bring the thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Just come in and remove the excess tip. And I'm just going to stroke the fibres back and do one turn in front of the other. Now with this being a, a hen haggle. The fibres are a lot thicker, so two turns is going to be plenty for me. Okay, that's plenty there. Just going to follow it around with my thread. Just catch in the stem. I just want to have a wee check. That stem's too thick. Sometimes I like to fold them back. That stem's just a wee bit thick, so any favours that are going forward, just come in and fold them back now. And just tighten up. Now, that 
that's the wee pattern finished. The wee pattern doesn't require jungle cock. So if you don't have jungle cock or you don't like to put them on your flies, just come in and whip finish off. And I've got two wee eyes here and I'm just going to put them on. So I'm just going to come in just clear a space. the tie on, just going to offer them up to the, the hook, just going to come in, just throw them onto the hook, I'm just coming around with loose turns, these are just loose turns, right, just to get them the jungle cock positioned the way you like, right. this one on your side is a wee bit long so I'm just going to pull it into length, I'm just going to check it just always like the double check and triple check jungle cock because once it's in, it, it's in, you know. I yeah, just want to lower check just before a, just a wee tiny bit. just want to put it in again. Okay, happy enough for that. Right. Just take all the fibers out of the way. Just bring them a thread down towards the eye. And then I'm going to come in and just fold back the stems of the jungle cock and just build up my head just tie it up over the top of the stems of the jungle cock now to keep your thread tight and just come in and break away the the stems still keeping your thread tight don't let it go just come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish Pull the thread nice and tight, come in, trim away the, the thread. Now, got a wee look at the fly. See here we're, we're sitting. Okay, now, just a first coat on the head. Just a wee drop of super glue. Just onto the head. No way around. Don't want to get into any of my fibres here, so I'm just taking my time. And then once that dries guys I'll come in put on a couple of coats of varnish and that's the wee fly finished so look guys give the fly a wee go I mean really bright but it would, I've never faced the fly myself but it would work for the grilts um, and some of the flies that Albert Atkinson has tied are very very famous and they all work for the salmon so get a few of them in your box guys hopefully you can catch a few fish and as always, any thanks for taking the time to watch the video.